Now I've been trading for nine years and what I haven't ever really done is been the first to adopt or adapt to new technology, indicators, strategies, automated systems to help me make decisions in the markets. And I've done some little things with indicators that are very simple, that still involve a lot of human interaction. But over the last year, I've really spent a lot of time thinking about how to have less human interaction, more AI interaction, meaning making a computer generated system make decisions for me and I spend less time on the charts. And I wanted to today show you guys something that I've been building and almost ask you guys for help. Because right now it's not perfect. It's not profitable on all scanners uh, or across all pairs, I should say. So specific pairs actually lose money from year over year back tests. Some pairs make money. But when you culminate them together, a lot of times you'll see that uh, throughout the day in the day-to-day -day review, we can have a profitable experience. So I went over the charts so and I want to show you guys what I've been developing and building. Give you guys' opinions on it. First of all, if you guys want to see more videos just like this with this exact Asian range system, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's head over to the computer screen and take a look at this. So when we jump on this, like I said, I, I've wanted to build something that has basically no human interaction needed. So I can actually, if I wanted to, get rid of all of our EMAs. I don't need the RSI. None of this is technically needed. This purple down here doesn't mean anything. That's from a past markup. But I want to show today just the results. And I'm going to write them down with you guys so you can show this based off of risking 2%. So you guys could see what the results were for our system today on only the currency pairs that I like to trade, which are the right all the way down to Nat Das. So everything above Nat Das, you can see I've got my yen group, I've got my dollar group, I've got my cross group. So that's what we're going to pay attention to. So I'm going to start on a winning, uh, or I'm sorry, not a winning trade, but a break even trade. So I can really just get you guys in the frame of mind of explaining this system. Like I said, I'm trying to build a system right now. And I'm saying trying because I'm asking my YouTube subscribers that have experience in this for help. What do you think is another indicator? Uh, an ADR, a uh, momentum indicator, an oscillator. What do you think could help increase a win rate across a strategy? Now, today's video, I'm just going to show you what it's called today. So this is today, the 16th of August. It's called several trades today. Here's the first trade it called this morning. You can see that it told us to enter right here. And by the way, when I say told us, it's actually a robot. So it actually does it. So it actually enters. So enter there, stops here. And I, I'm not going to do this every single time, but I'll show you guys that the original position is always a standard one to two risk to ratio. That's how I have it set up. It's predetermined that way. That way I can lose more than I win and still make money. So you can see right there, it's at a one to two. Obviously it says 2.02 because I can't get it perfectly aligned, but it is a one to two. So every single trade has a very simple principle. It has an entry candle, which is the arrow and the price that you enter is that little notch. Then it has a stop loss. Then it has a gray box, which that's a price in which you move your stop loss level to your entry, which it did. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then of course a take profit. Okay. So in this case, it enters the trade here. It's got its stop loss level here. It's got its target level here. And it's got its break even level here. And we can come back here to replay and just hit play so you can see it. As this trade develops, you'll notice it triggers an entry here. Now that it's triggered an entry, it automatically prints out where it wants its stop, where it wants its target, and where it's going to move its stop loss to entry for break even. It does not take partial profits at this time through the code. Now, as this goes, you can see the market drops heavily within four candles after the entry successfully moving stops to entry and you'll see that visually by the slant that means that the automated system automatically moved stop loss level to entry now as i hit play again you'll see the market comes up unfortunately in just a moment it almost hits target but the market comes up oh in this case it's actually a winner my fault it won so it actually won that trade once i reset it had won that trade 
So when you look at that trade, where did it exit? Short exit was right here. Okay. Now, that's a good sign because what that means is we have a 2% risk. I'm going to write this down. We have a 2% risk and a take profit hit, which means a plus 4%. So on Euro dollar, we gain 4% in this case. Now I'm gonna go back up and what I'm gonna show you is how fast I click through and see what happened today. Also, you can set alerts for these so they alert you before they happen so you're prepared to take a trade or you could let the indicator do it. Obviously right now this system is still being tested. That's why I'm putting this out on YouTube kind of almost as like a newsletter to say, hey, come help Patrick out. I'm not trying to charge for this. This isn't something that this is like an indicator and I'm one of these online gurus. I'm saying, hey, I'm trying to build something successful that's not Martingale, one of those BS systems that just, as the market goes up, it just sells for more and then eventually you blow your account. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to find the settings for a really good and profitable system. Let's continue to go down. We got no trade today on GJ. You can see that because there's no entry. No trade today on EJ. That's fine. No trade on AJ. And by the way, this thing does not take many trades, maybe like three or four a day. Not on CAD yen. Oh, but here's one on dollar yen. So again, let's go back to the replay function and let's watch how this thing develops. And you can see that it's not a repainting indicator or anything like that. You guys know me, I was real or raw as they come. So, Here's the entry candle. There's a little blue. Now the blue is the entry price. You can see everything's the same now. I'm sure you get the drift. There's a stop. There's break even. There's target. Let's let this thing run. So as it runs, you guys will see that um, this one takes a little bit longer. At that point, it hits break even. Now what you'll notice now, next candle is the stop loss. It'll have an angle, meaning it moves stops to entry. See the angle? So now my stops are moved to entry. Continues on. It's target. Now, before I be continue, I want to say that if you guys want to learn the manual strategy behind this, so you can kind of get an understanding of how the algorithm's calling it, I don't care if you have that. I want to make it better. I want to try to make a fully autonomous system that just prints all of this money, and I don't really care who uses it, because what does it matter to me? Right? We're all making money. So if you want that, Make sure you comment down below. I would like to know the strategy behind this so that you can see it, so you can help me tweak it. And I can come back and show you, hey, this this day it sucked, this day it won. We'll start making more and more videos about this. So you can see this is a profitable trade. This is dollar yet again, plus 4%. Assuming we're risking 2%, every trade is one to two risk reward ratio. Every trade has that break even mark. So today we're up 8% in this case again. We're just getting this build now. That's why this is all fresh. This is the first video I've ever mentioned this. All right, let's move on. New Zealand Yen. Oh, New Zealand Yen has one. Now this one's interesting. I'm excited to show you guys this one because it's not all sunshine and rainbows as you'll see here. So this one, the algorithm attempts to sell. You can see right there, sell. There's our spots, right? It immediately goes in drawdown, which by the way, it currently has no measures for that. Like if it goes in drawdown of the first 15 minutes, exit the trade. There's no like metrics for that. We haven't gone that deep yet with the algorithm. So it's standard, it's set. There's no trailing stops. The stop is there, break even's there, target's there. It needs to hit one of those three things before it does anything. That's how it's coded. So as I watch this play out, you can see it comes into profit. Life's good. Holy crap, we're making money. And by the way, again, that gray is that one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio, if you guys forgot about that. So you can see that as you let this thing draw down, or not draw down, wrong word, go in profit, now it hits that gray line. Once it hits that gray line, again, look at the slant. This is the first time this has happened though. Look at the slant, now watch, it goes in reverse. This trade actually ends up getting stopped out at break even. So now you guys are able to kind of see the functionality of protecting capital because I believe it's more important that we are preserving capital. There's the wick for it, that we're preserving capital than we are making money. I think that's more important. So as you can see, as that candle closes and finishes, I gotta just hit play one more time here. 
as it closed and finished, you can see it exits at entry because our stop moved to entry. So this is uh, New Zealand yen. And this is plus 0%. It didn't make money, didn't lose money. Let's keep it moving. Swiss yen, no trade. We already started today's call or this video with Euro dollar. Okay. And granted, as you can see, when, when you go back, this is something I'm still looking at. Euro dollar could have been considered a break-even trade. You can see that. It's funny how the, the, the replay feature considered that TP hit right there. You see how close it got? I'm not really sure. Somebody comment down below maybe why you know why that is. Uh, where on the replay feature it shows that. So I mentioned that at plus 4%. But you guys know I like to be very pessimistic. So let's assume that this is break-even plus zero. So we've got a break-even trade on Euro dollar today. Break-even trade New Zealand dollar today. Uh, take profit hit on dollar yen, which is plus 4%. So that's a plus 4%. Let's keep it moving. No train on pound dollar today. Okay. And by the way, I'm saying today because there's some other trades that ended up being long. You can see here is a short take profit hit on Aussie dollar short. And this one was held for a weekend over a long time. Short take profit hit sometimes happens that way. There's those other two winners there, but I can't talk about that because i'm talking about today um let's keep it moving new zealand dollar that's kind of the next one and i guess by today it's whatever you're watching I, it's probably not live that you're watching this so new zealand dollar and z d u s d let's run this replay so you can see it again real time this time i'm going to speed it up just for sake of your guys's time here so watch this one. So it paints the short, stop loss, break even, target. Does its thing. You guys have kind of seen this happen many, many times. It's break even, stop loss rolls. Pulls back a little bit, goes back above break even, and then boom, target it. So this is New Zealand dollar plus 4%. So now the account is at an 8% positive. Two break-evens, two winners. Dollar CAD, no trade. Euro CAD, no trade. Ah, you're in New Zealand. Here's a trade. Long entry. I can't really go and show you what the result was on this one because this one's actually still up. It's not break-even. It's nowhere near take profit. It's not in drawdown. So this one, I guess we'll see how this one plays out. You guys can go back to the market and take a look. I'm on the 15 minute time frame here. Today that I'm recording this video is the 16th. I don't know when this will be available to you guys to consume and watch, but this is 16th of August, 2023. So this is uh, another example. So this is, I'm not gonna be able to put a result on this right now. Euro New Zealand, and this is a blank right now. Um, continuing on here, no trade Euro Aussie, no trade pound Aussie, no trade Euro pound, no trade pound New Zealand, no trade pound CAD, okay? Going down into, I'm, I'm not usually doing this, but I could go down to the silver. You can see silver had a break even trade as well. Just fine. Capital preservation is a good thing, right? And gold is all highlighted because it's still in a trade from last week on the, actually, the, yeah, the, almost a week ago, the 10th. Up handsomely in profit right now. About to hit take profit on that one, but I can't consider that. So all in all today, we've got Euro dollar break even, dollar yen target hit, New Zealand yen break even, New Zealand dollar target hit, Euro New Zealand still open. Regardless of the outcome of that Euro New Zealand trade, the minimum gain of the day will be 6%. Uh, if we're looking at a um, one to do risk reward ratio, which we are, and we're looking at risking 2%. So I wanted to show you guys this because now my next agenda is catching my YouTube family up. I'm going to be a lot more active. I have a lot of updates to share with you guys about my life. I'm going to be a lot more active on YouTube. I'm making it a point, and this is kind of my next passion project. What I mean by passion project is not something that I'm really looking at this as like a massive um, profit plan. I'm like one of these other guys is like, look at this beautiful indicator. Come buy it from me. No, I'm like here on YouTube saying, here's what it is. How can we make it better? Because I'll give you an example. 
I believe, per the strategy, our stop losses are too high. The stop losses set, the, the day starts here at the blue. The stop loss is set, so if it shorts, it sets, this is just letting you in the code. The stop loss is set at the high of the day or the low of the day, of course, if we're buying. I think it's too high. So imagine if I took the same trade, right? But I had to put my stop loss, I don't know, above the high of the entry candle or the candle previous to it. So the entry candle and the candle previous, that would be my stop, right? Wouldn't have been hit. And look at my target would have been hit guaranteed one to two. I still would have made the same amount percentage wise. This one was a break even trade, of course, but I still would have made the same amount of percentage wise. So I'm thinking about things like that. I'm also thinking this involves EMAs. This involves timing. This involves RSIs. This involves a lot of different price proximities and it can all be adjusted. So underneath the hood, I can adjust a lot of different inputs, risk to reward ratios, break even. Do I want that to happen? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, RSI length, RSI, my EMAs. Listen, I'll get you guys under the hood if you guys want it, but you guys have to want that. So you're gonna have to let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Appreciate you guys taking your time watching this video. You know, as always guys, we are trying to make you the best content possible on this channel and I'm really starting to rank it up. So if you haven't already, over 80% of you guys that watch my videos do not subscribe. Could you guys do me a huge favor today and create a YouTube profile account if you can and click the subscribe button so you get notified the next time I make a video. This might just be something that you get involved with. I want you involved in this project with me. Let's make this a really fun and profitable experience with this indicator. Let's see what we can make happen. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.